Hello, everybody. This is Manador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on July 19th, 2010. And we are looking at the S&P 500 ETF, the SPY, on a three-minute chart. And it looks like a very nice up gap, unfilled, holding support at 107. Uh, but it, it, taken into a larger context, this is actually just a mere blip up. Even a 15-minute chart shows that after that big sell-off, uh, we do have some good support at 106 and then uh, 50 area, and then 107 is now acting as support. Uh, we do have resistance at 107.50, 108 area, uh, 109 area as well, and then 110. So we need to have those round numbers holding up on an even higher time frame than that. Uh, scrunch it up, you can see where we came from. Beautiful retracement, and then a good size sell-off. So we're looking for that higher swing low on a higher time frame to hold up right through here. Uh, if we do hold this 106.50 mark, next logical uh, move would be to see that, that higher swing low uh, held, and that will become an area of support. So on a daily chart, uh, which it kind of already is, on a daily chart, you'll see where we came from. Beautiful move up. Good size sell-off, closing on its low with pretty good size volume. So this is definitely a notable feature blasting through this great area of 108, which was support, and now becoming resistance. So today, especially, I'm going to be market internals in my camp, or, and if I start failing, I'm going to be watching closely the swing low at 106.50, and this 106 area on the 60-minute chart, and the 200 MA on 60. So a lot of good technical indicators, a lot of good uh, support and resistance lines as well. And uh, you'll have to excuse my voice. Somehow I got a summer cold. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a great trading day today. And I'll be with you around noon to see how things are shaping up.